Tonight on Panorama, a care home for the elderly. It's just totally sadistic. A daughter takes matters into her own hands to protect her mother. So I've just dumped her on the bed. Dumped, yeah. Two nights inside an elderly care home, filmed on secret camera. You could hear the poor lady cry out in pain. People were being treated with less respect than slabs of meat. And the fight to prevent other vulnerable old people suffering the same abuse. How can you actually go into a home where abuse has actually happened and it's literally been caught on film and then turn around and say that it's compliant? Oh, yeah. I'm on my way to see someone whose actions could help change how we treat older people. It's personal for me. My mum needed to live in a care home for the last three years of her life. Hi. Hi, Faye. Hi. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Come nice. in. Jane Worrell's mother, Maria, was mistreated when she lived in a North London care home. This is um, some photos of Mum. She's beautiful in that, isn't she? Gorgeous. Yeah. I really couldn't have asked for a better mum, really. I just feel like, as a person, she's just got the biggest heart, always laughing, always joking, just really strong, really independent as a parent. You know, I would always kind of go in. But then Jane's mother became ill and needed more and more care. Maria was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia. Eventually, she could barely communicate and needed help with almost every aspect of her life, including personal care. Hello. I kept her at home, living independently for as long as I could. She started falling over a lot, and then one day just came round in the morning to find that she hadn't moved at all from her bed, and she couldn't move. Jane reluctantly picked a care home for her mother, a care home called Ash Court. A new build block nestled in the middle of a residential North London square. A 60 bedroom home on three floors, which provides nursing and respite care. Jane chose it after reading a report by the national regulator, the Care Quality Commission. I was still kind of, you know, naive to a lot of it. But, um, you know, reading the CQC report and, and it had an excellent rating, which is obviously all you've got to go against as a gauge of what the care homes are like. And it gave it an excellent rating. Even though the CQC said Ashcourt was excellent, Jane began to worry about her mother. Six weeks in after her arriving at Ashcourt, I noticed that she had bruising on her arms, um, bruising on her hands. It was like fingerprint bruising really now when I look back it's like small fingerprint bruising Jane was told Maria was bruising easily because she was taking aspirin months later Jane was still worried she decided she had to do something and she just seemed so upset and down and I just felt like the only way I'm going to know is if I record it I wasn't even thinking anything at the time I just thought I just wanted to see what my mum's life was like so we just decided to buy this small digital camera. It just looks like a digital clock. Jane's first attempts to film in her mother's bedroom failed. The camera was either positioned so that it only saw the bottom of the bed or its memory ran out. Then, on June the 17th, the camera worked. Everyone who entered Maria's bedroom for more than a few seconds was recorded. The sound quality is poor but clear. Although we've cut down the two and a half hours of footage Jane filmed, we haven't left out good care or good carers. This is two nights in Maria Worrell's life at Ashcourt. 
Oh, dear. This is then putting my mum to bed. Yeah. At 5.30? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm quite shocked it's 5.30, actually. I yeah. thought I thought it was um, a bit later than that. Because normally they would have done sort of 6.37, which is still early, yeah. but 5.30 is really early. The two carers from the Philippines lift Maria by her shoulders. <sighs> Although Jane has watched the footage before, this is the first time I've seen it. So I've just dumped her on the just bed. dumped her. And she doesn't know what's happening. And she's got arthritis. So now oh, they've just chucked her legs on the bed as well. Her and then walked off. I asked a leading specialist in dementia care to watch the footage of two nights from Maria's life at Ash Court. He says unless there's a fire, staff should use a mechanical hoist and painlessly get Maria to bed. A care plan calls for a hoist and they were available. It's like being treated like an object. Like a, I don't know, a sack of potatoes moving from A to B rather than this human being that's on the receiving end. And, you know, if you have dementia, how do you cope with something like that? You know? I... Who goes to bed at 5.30 in the evening in a room that is stark and bare with nothing to look at? So what is this person going to do for the rest of the evening? Maria had been living at Ash Court for nearly a year by the time Jane hid a camera in her bedroom. And they're not speaking to you. No, they're at speaking all. in Filipino, but that's because I've never known what they were saying. We've translated what they're saying over Jane's mum. It's unclear what they're talking about. <laughs> but very little is about Maria or her care. How frightening for her. She looks she looks bewildered. Mm. Oh, well, I can see they've hurt her now. Absolutely. And she's... Throw a bag on, bag her, on head. her head, lovely. And that that oh, pulling like my this. Goodness. Her wrists are really sore. But all her joints are really sore. So all of that yanting and chucking. It's as though she's and... cattle or something. Yeah, it's no, just like you see farmers doing that when they're it's oh gosh. They should be putting a sheet under Maria to move her, not yanking her. Specially designed slip sheets were in Maria's bedroom. And you see all these things, like where I saw the bruises, now make sense because it was all fingerprint marks and on the hand. So the know, bruises now, that's them dragging, gripping her by the arm. That's all. supposed to be her and that's their going job. to bed. You know, that's your evening. Later that same night, a different carer briefly visits Maria. And comes back 40 minutes later with a colleague. There's no greeting for Maria when these two carers arrive to bathe her. So again, there's no sort of, hi, Maria, you know, we've come in, we're just going to... Yes. They switch the TV on for their benefit. And this is the whole time she's been in bed since 5.30 till now, just lying yeah. staring at the ceiling. Nothing. Yeah. Good My job's done. Good night. Enjoy TV's off. We don't for need For their benefit, anymore. yeah. Nine hours later, early morning, the same two carers are back this time to give Maria her morning bath. Maria has been in bed for 13 hours. Yeah, this is the morning. morning. I think it's the, um, yeah, the same two that you've just seen. So they're probably coming to the end of their shift. The carers start talking about life at Ash Court and their colleagues. They don't paint a happy picture. While they're talking, Maria tries to resist them removing her sheets, 
So they pull harder. So it's just ripping it's her sheets. It's ripping the sheets off. In a way, they just, just grab hold of her limbs. Look at that, it's just that, that whole body. They just slapped her Slapping away her again. again yeah. <sighs> The carers start talking about staffing at Ashcourt. Why do they come here to people, only four people, to manage to do some something less than Why not do it just gently in your way? If you didn't think you can know that, oh, these people, uh, they need no they more. Need more. Mm -hmm. They need more hands. Mm -hmm. They soon begin talking about their low wage. What do you expect? And after that, they pay you six pounds fifty. Or six pounds seventy. Then you start. Then you end it. Continue. Then you broke in your back there. Our expert recognises these sorts of comments from other homes. So they're ang they're angry themselves, aren't yeah. they? This is the thing. And you know. It is true, care staff find it really difficult. They get paid very little money, as this, this lady's just saying. But actually, with no more staff, that person's experience could be completely different. But unless you address these care cultures, then they just get left to fester and fester and fester. And that is where you get these kind of really unacceptable practices that just need to be, you know, taken out. The carer is wishing Maria a good sleep, if only between her morning bath at 6.30 and her breakfast two hours later. We don't know if Maria slept or just stared at the ceiling until one of the two carers who the night before put her to bed roughly walks in. She's here to feed Maria. Later, after breakfast, staff did take Maria out of her room as usual, but by then, Jane's camera had stopped working. Its last recording is at 9 a.m. Well, no word of a greeting, no, no good morning, just walk into the room. And that TV's been off the whole time. Yeah. And, I, and I specifically told them, look, don't just leave her lying and let her have a TV or a magazine or something. It's porridge, and she's also got a cooked breakfast there as well. The carer starts giving Maria breakfast, then breaks off to switch on the TV so she can watch it while feeding her. So she's finally put the telly on. <laughs> oh, cos she's looking at yeah. it, that's why. There's no, no speech at all. And there's this switching from mouth spoonfuls of porridge to back to <sighs> scrambled egg and whatever else it is that... You know what I mean? Maria is being fed too quickly. The carer gives a spoonful roughly every 13 seconds. Even when a carer that Jane believes is a nurse passes through to help give medication. She's choking because it's all getting shoveled in. It's not the only time Maria's feeders are impatient. On the second night, Jane's secret camera was filming when Maria was given this drink. Oh, and that, that's her drink for the evening. What can she do? She can't write down help, she can't say help, she can't get up and run away. She's just got to endure it, and that's what's horrible. Maria's first day being secretly filmed at Ash Court is over. I mean, to me, it's, it's the whole sequence, it's the... It's everything, it's, it's being put to bed in that manner of like, you know, it's painful, you're thrown into bed, you're not, nothing's told what's happening. It's a new day, it should be a new beginning. There's, again, there's no communication, it's shoveled in. There's no joy, there's no tenderness, there's no empathy, there's just nothing. I was horrified to mm -hmm. see that, that, that that was a day in the life of my mother. Jane took the secret footage out of Ashcourt. The clock had um, a little memory card in it, which is what you would then put into your laptop to view the images. I wasn't aware what I was actually going to see, so I just felt completely at 